Welcome to video 2.7b, more transitive and substitution. All right, a few notes and then we'll do an example with a proof. So note, there are some cases where you can use either transitive or substitution. I personally prefer to use transitive because of its elegance, but uh, either way can be acceptable. Uh, let's emphasize the difference between the two because some students get confused. Uh, transitive. A series of congruences or a flow path of congruence. You're congruent to you, you're congruent to you, you're congruent to you, therefore the outers are congruent. Substitution is typically going to have a statement and a congruence or equality with replacement. So those, uh, not that flow path, but just a statement and then a congruence with replacement. All right, so let's take a look at a proof. Example one. So uh, given this information, let's mark it up. Fg is congruent to Kj. So just go tick, tick. Gh is congruent to Kj. Prove that Kg bisects segment Fh. Oh, so now we gotta remember those definitions. To show that something bisects a segment, I think I need two congruent segments. So what I really need to do is prove that this segment is congruent to that segment. Once I do it, game over. Oh, well if you're congruent to you and you're congruent to you, it looks like I'm gonna have that series of congruences and use transitive. So let me show you how it works in a proof. So step one, I'll just write this given. Fg is congruent to Kj. Gibeon. Gh is congruent to Kj. Given. All right, right there, again, I'm trying to get Fg and Gh. Watch how I can do it. And I like to use arrows in my proof. So somebody all alone, Fg, is going to Kj, and then Kj is congruent to GH. So I started there and I ended there. That's my congruence flow path. So I'm gonna say segment FG is congruent to segment GH. And starting now, I'm gonna allow you to just say the word transitive. You don't have to say that if, then, all those words. So I'm just gonna say transitive. And then later on, I'm gonna abbreviate just trans. Okay, well that's what I was trying to do. Proof over. Kg bisects Fh. Now I want you to you know, use the if-then statement. If a segment divides a segment into two congruent segments, then it's a segment bisector. If above stuff, then below stuff. So, if a segment divides a segment into two congruent segments, then segment bisector. So a lot of words there. So there you have it. A very simple proof on using the transitive property of congruence.